Hey folks, Steve Harmon here, Synthrotech, and we're pleased and excited to announce today that we're finally releasing the MST VCO. It's going to be coming out here in a few weeks, and it's a really exciting and essential module in completing your MST full voice. So let me explain some of the controls here that we have on our VCO. Uh, the first control here we have is the coarse tune manual control, and we also have a fine tune manual control on this side. And we also have a three octave switch. So if you want to go up an octave, back down to wherever your root started, or down an octave, you can just do that quickly by flipping that switch. Uh, we also have in the middle here, we've got manual pulse width, which can change the width of the pulse. And we also have uh, pulse width modulation amount that attenuates the pulse width CV input modulation down here. We also have two modulation inputs, frequency modulation or low frequency modulation. And on mod one, we have an attenuating uh, pot here that brings in the amount of modulation. Mod two basically sends the full amount right through to the VCO. Uh, there's a one volt per octave input, uh, and we have five simultaneous discrete uh, waveform outputs, sine wave, triangle, sawtooth, sawtooth plus one, which is one octave up, and a square wave output. Okay, so right here we have our voltage control oscillator, and this marks the end of us making our very basic monophonic voice in the MST system. So what we've had up to this point is the noise sample and hold, voltage control LFO, the 07 buff malt, audio and CV mixer, low pass filter, dual envelope and dual VCA. Now to be able to make a, a voice with a keyboard or with a sequence, you need to at least have your VCO, an envelope and a VCA. And so now that we have the VCO, as long as you have those three elements, if not more, you can hook up your MIDI to CV keyboard or your QNexus and start to be able to make noise. So it's a pretty exciting time. So let me kind of show you what the different waveforms actually sound like first. So let me first start off with the sine wave and show you what that sounds like. Okay, let's move on to the triangle wave, which is pretty similar to the sine wave. Now we have our, we have our sawtooth wave. We have our saw plus one, which is just one octave up from that. And we have the square wave. Now, of course, we can use other things like our low pass filter to give some different effects or to change the way the timbre of the of the wave sounds. And we can use our envelope to be able to uh, lengthen or shorten the attack and decay of the way that the note comes in. Okay, we can also do other things which increase um, just the, the, the amount of different sounds you can get out of it. There is, like I mentioned, there's modulation input for frequency modulation, and there's also pulse width uh, modulation on this as well. So let's turn on the pulse width here with the square wave and hear what that sounds like. Some nice ring modi sounds here, or actually just pulse width mod sounds. Let's increase our LFO speed. And of course you can attenuate the amount of LFO that's coming in there. Okay, we can also just have frequency modulation. Let's check that out. We can turn that up a lot. Both 
whole twit and frequency modulation. Okay, let me show you some of the basic controls here. We have a coarse frequency adjustment. And we have a fine adjustment, which from all the way counterclockwise to all the way clockwise is one octave. Also, we have the octave switch here. So if we're hitting the same note, we can quickly move between uh, up or down an octave. We also have the manual pulse width control. We also have pulse width modulation input for CV, modulation one and two inputs, a one volt per octave CV input, and of course the five simultaneous waveform outputs. Anyway, that's our VCO. It makes our complete voice with our other MST modules. Now you can of course have a very complete full East Coast voice right at your fingertips.